Hey y'all, Irix Guy here back again with another video. Uh, now today I have the latest DJI Phantom 4 case. Now this particular one is in yellow, but it comes in other colors too. And uh, just a great thing if you're wanting to travel with your drone, you know, maybe you're in a wet environment, a, a really dirty environment, and you don't want to risk subjecting your, uh, your Phantom 4 to the elements, water, sand, dirt, you name it. This is just a great way to do that. Now I do have the optional shoulder strap attached which makes it more comfortable for uh for longer distance travel because a lot of times i mean even though it has a nice handle on it it feels good a lot of times that can become uncomfortable i mean especially when you're when you're hiking a few miles you know maybe you're going to and from boats um, airplanes etc it just makes it a lot more convenient but what i what i want to show you in detail is inside of the case so we're going to take this over here and i'm going to zoom the camera in so you can see all the detail check the link within this video's description and you can find where to order this case online the shoulder strap and again it comes in other colors too so it's not I've got my viewfinder today so i'm using my um, iphone 6 plus as a viewfinder to make sure i'm in the frame such a great day out here so the first thing i wanted to point out and if you've seen my initial review video you saw where these little handles these latches right here how securely they latch but to release them, you push down, and then you pop up, and that comes over. But again, to demonstrate, if you simply just try to pull up, that's likely not going to come out. And that's good, especially for air travel, uh, where people may be handling your, uh, your case, and they may not really care about it because it's not theirs. <laughs> so it's good to have a ruggedized case. This top handle right here, see how that snaps down? So if you're, you know, if you're tucking it among other gear on a boat, it just makes it more easy more easily fit within among all the other gear rather so let's go ahead and pop all these up and let's go inside the case now there's again as i've mentioned previously there's latches on the side all the latches behave the same way uh, this case does come in other colors as i've mentioned previously i like bright colors because they tend to uh, stand out against the water and it's so if, if i was swimming with my drone which obviously i don't recommend but if I was swimming and a wave got a hold of my case and it started to, to go down uh, <laughs> go down the you know to shore or wherever, wherever the waves are taking it, this yellow color would be easier to spot and easier to uh, hopefully retrieve. One of the best things about this case is just the custom cut nature of it. Now, there's another case that I've demonstrated previously that is one where you pluck it yourself, meaning that you go in and you pluck the foam out to fit whatever. This comes pre-engineered for your Phantom 4 and the accessories. You can see I've got the Phantom 4 right here, and then here I've got one extra battery. So I've got one battery in the Phantom 4, one extra battery here, but I've got room for one, two, three more batteries. So that will be a total of five batteries, counting the one that's that's in the uh, uh, inside of the Phantom 4 right now. And then obviously I've got, this right here is my prop sack. So these are unused props. When I got my Phantom 4, it came with four extra props which I'm not going to use those unless I damage these and the beauty of this case is that see right here those are my quick disconnect prop guards so when I'm when I'm in transport mode I don't have to uh, I don't have to keep the prop guards attached which means you know I have a smaller case size like this which is more convenient to travel with and then the extra props I can just slide them right on top of that I could use these areas for uh, uh, for things other than extra batteries but obviously i use them for extra batteries got my controller right here got this up here where i've got my sunshade for my uh that i use with my ipod touch and i also use it with my iphone 6 plus it fits right there and here's the ipod touch model that i use and again check the link within this video's description you can find all of this including the phantom 4 you can find it all there and i've got my short uh ios cable Again, you can find it within this video's description. Just a, a cleaner way to uh, connect the controller uh, to the Phantom 4 instead of using that long cable that has to wrap around and may potentially become a trip hazard. So, yeah, just a great case. And, and again, when you lift the Phantom out, <laughs> I didn't screw that, uh, not screw, but I didn't pop that uh, prop on correctly. That's what happened there. Um, that's one thing about the Phantom 4. It's just so nice how these pop down and they give you that tactile reassurance that they're attached um so yeah you got my 
camera guard, camera and gimbal guard that came with the Phantom 4 attached for transport, and this just fits right in here. Um, look at that. Look at how clean that is. Even down to those little cutouts there where the, see the little sides of the camera and gimbal guard, how they stick out? It's even got the, took that into consideration, so it just fits perfectly. And then obviously you can keep your, uh, your prop zone when you transport it, which is convenient, especially if you're, if you're trying to get a flight in before uh, rain rolls in or whatever. It's easier to just pop it out, have the props already on, and, you know, be ready to get airborne. But, yeah, and then, you know, getting ready to go, I mean, all you do, you just close the case, snap one, two, three, and four. Pop out your handle. You got your handle there, carry it by the handle. Again, if you don't want to carry it using the handle, you could even pop the handle down while you're while you're carrying it with shoulder strap if you wanted to. I mean, just super, super duper convenient in my opinion. And something that uh, can hopefully take a beating. It does have a pressure equalizer right there. Uh, one thing that's funny, it, and it wasn't this case, it was one of my previous drones with a, uh, with a case that also had a pressure release valve. But I was going through an airport, <laughs> and this was back when uh, drones first were starting to become heard of. And, and it started, uh, you know, the customs people, they pulled me aside, and they're like, they're like hey, man. Uh, well, they, they didn't talk like that. They were very serious and professional about it. But they're like, what's in that... Uh, what's in that case can we take a look and uh, I said sure and put it on a table and and the first thing because we had just gotten off an airplane and uh, because of the pressure release valve when the case was open it started to make this hissing sound and they were looking at me and I was looking at them and I just said hey don't worry about it. it's just a uh, it's a pressure release valve but that went on for quite a few seconds so it was pretty awkward uh, but it was funny after we opened the case and uh, and, and everything was, you know, what it what I said it was, just a drone and some and some other stuff. So fun stuff. And again, check the link within this video's description. You can find where to order this case online. The optional, very nice. It's got these air cells on here that just make it extra comfortable on your shoulder. You can find this within this video's description. And again, multiple case colors. I like yellow, but if you want something that's more uh, low key, you know, like a they've got like a green color and a and kind of a gray color check it out check the link within this video's description you can find them all there but uh yeah just a, a better way to transport your drone and have a greater sense of security when you arrive at your final destination that hopefully your drone will be in good condition and won't be wet or uh damaged be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irix y'all have a good day Hey all iRix guy here, I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership and y'all have a good day.